This video is a group project that was done for EdTech 513 with Kristen Kipp, Krista Barber, and Amy Robertson. And the topic is modality and redundancy principles. Most people learn better when they listen to an explanation while viewing a graphic or image. This is the modality principle. Modality is presenting words as speech rather than on screen text. When presenting words and graphics together, it's better to use spoken rather than printed text because this reduces the demands of visual processing for the viewer. This slide that you're seeing shows a good use of modality principle. The slide itself has an image and limited text. The primary information is being delivered through audio from me. Uh, this example also addresses one of the limitations of modality principle, which is words should be presented and remain on screen for memory recall support purposes when words are really technical or complex. So someone might need to refer to them for future reference. So now that we've seen a good example of the modality principle, let's view a modality principle violation. And here it is. This graphic displays way too much text. With uh, It's very complex. Uh, this any narration added while the viewer is attempting to grasp the concepts presented would really overload the sensory channels. There are limitations and exceptions to the modality principle. Uh, when you're adding sound that might involve technical demands, that's a limitation. There's, if there's too much noise in the learning environment, if words are presented without any pictures, and if the terms are really technical or complex. Now, most people learn better when graphics are explained by audio, narration, or text, but not both together. This is the redundancy principle. This principle is basically explaining visuals with audio or text, but not both. The redundancy principle states that learners can learn better just with animation and narration, but not from animation, narration, and on-screen text together. All three of those creates redundant material. So let's start with a violation of the redundancy principle. This graphic has a ton of information. It's more of a pamphlet than an online explanation. It just has too much text with a very small image. Any narration added while the viewer is trying to grasp the concepts would just overload sensory channels. So how can you remedy this? Well, let's look at a better example of the redundancy principle. But the same concept of solar energy, this graphic is much easier to see. You can see that the click to learn more icon will bring audio to the viewer. And basically it's presented with one channel, audio. You're seeing one image, it's large, and it's obvious to the viewer what this is all about. So basically the redundancy principle has some exceptions too. Uh, if there's slow a presentation, of use, using only keywords, and if there's learner processing issues, those are some exceptions to the redundancy principle that you may need to include extra information. So overall, less is more. The modality and redundancy principles are about presenting information in a way that helps all people learn. And the references for this presentation are right here. Thank you so much for listening and watching my presentation.